Fertility Tempo Cells, and today we're doing some shipping, and I'm going to talk to you about what I have been doing since sales have been super slow. This is one of the slowest weekends I've ever had. Even if I have like a slow weekend, my weekend usually picks up and, and makes up for the rest of the week a little bit. Um, sorry, sipping chai tea. So um, let's look at what I've sold. Um, first up is this, the Goddess Book of Days, uh, which sold for, I believe, $18.25. Um, one of the vendors that I go to, um, they do um, Amazon return lots, and they decided that they didn't want to do books anymore. So whenever they get books, they put them outside the store and they're free. So uh, I did not pay for this book, so this is all profit. Normally I should be writing these sales down in my little book. Um, maybe if I got myself a ledger, I'd be better at it. Um, but I'm putting it in plastic. Close it with uh, some washi tape. This is the best washi tape I've ever gotten. It's not, you know, like a pure washi, but I got it at Ikea. Like, I don't know how long ago. I'm pretty sure before I moved uh, from San Diego. Um, and it was in the Valentine's Day mix, I think. It was Valentine's Day and Christmas. So I have pink, green, black, um, and there were about four tapes in each one. And it sticks. Goddess Book of Days. Okay, I have this little basket. I was trying to be all organized, y'all. I mean, this isn't working for me. Organization sucks. Um, now I can't find my little cards. Here they are. So I had these little cards made. It says, hello, thank you for shopping with me. And then it has at Tempost, uh, which is my, um, it used to be my handle across everything, except uh, I changed my posh salad handle to posh salad. I'm sorry, I changed, changed my posh mark uh, name to posh salad. So uh, down here it just says uh, with a little Instagram thing, it says posh salad. Uh, and it says uh, underneath, you are all the good stuff. So that is my card. I had them done on Vistaprint. So this is for Christina. So we'll write Christina. Thank you and enjoy at Tempos because this was my one eBay sale. And I just taped that onto the front. I try not to put anything with um, ink on it inside the package just in case. You know, you never know. Um, so that, so I just got these in bulk, um, off of Amazon. They're a bubble mailer. Um, I try not to ship too many books in bubble mailers, but sometimes, you know, it's cool. So that is all good to go. She is being shipped media mail. Um, my eBay, um, customers have the choice of either the, the the cheapest shipping or the fastest shipping. And because I got these in my, uh, when you have an eBay store, you get like a certain amount of credit uh, to spend um, on eBay merch. So uh, these stickers came. I ordered a box of stuff that uh, just came, that uh, had like different size packages. It had, um, bubble mailers like this. It's all branded stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we have a pair of Lululemons. This is the second pair of Lululemons I've ever sold. Um, oh, actually, no, this is the third item. I sold a man's t-shirt. That went really fast. It was just a plain old t-shirt. Nothing special, but it sold like super duper fast. This did not sell super duper fast because I overpriced it. And knowing I overpriced it um, at the beginning. So that was always the thing. Knowing that I priced the overpriced the Lululemons because I paid $13 for them and I wasn't sure which ones I had because finding, for me anyway, finding the ones that you have um, is something I can't really do 
in the thrift store. Um, and this was a consignment store I bought these from, so that's why they were 13. They were $13.20, and I think, uh, I think I got a discount on that. <laughs> I think that's the discounted price. Um, so I've put them in plastic. I really don't like putting them in plastic, um, but I've gotten a couple of things that I've ordered that have just been uh, wet, and I just don't want that to happen to my customer. Um, okay, doggy. Okay, so this is going to Arlene. Arlene. So I just write Arlene, enjoy. At, and this one is from Posh, so we sign it Posh Salad. Now, um, I usually put uh, a number of things uh, <laughs> with um, a certain dollar amount. Uh, these sold, I think, for $48.49. Um, I had them listed at $68. Um, I put a little thing that says, thank you for shopping with me. Your item has been laundered and steamed and is ready for you to wear. Feel free to tag Posh Salad on Instagram, rocking your new style. So that goes there. And then I have um, little gifties and it's getting to be summer again. So we will use a bookmark. So we have a Fanta bookmark. I ordered, I used, well, I used to, I can't order from AliExpress anymore because they won't uh, correct my address. Um, <clears throat> even though it's correct on the thing, the vendors still get the wrong address and they won't work with me. Okay, so everything gets taped. The little uh, thing about uh, laundering and the bookmark and a little thank you. And I'm loving these boxes, these little uh, small mailing boxes. They are awesome. So we just seal that up and we're going to put our Lululemon label. I write on the back of the label um, when I print them out. Um, one thing I try to do um, when I do this is I try to put the label um, in the direction that it's supposed to, be, that the box indicates it wants it to go. Um, I'm also putting a little thank you sticker on there. And there we go, package number two. Uh, next up, we have this cute Converse collaboration hoodie and Uh, let's see. It's with it's Converse and Hello Kitty. Um, with hoodies or things with drawstrings, I try to tie the little drawstring. I just noticed it's got some little fuzzies here, so I'm just gonna trim those off. Do you know what uh, these things are called? I do. They're called aglets. A G L E T. I do not know why I know that, but I do. I don't have to put tissue in this. Usually I put tissue when I'm folding uh, in between because it just helps um, helps it stay nice and pretty. And there we go. This, uh, I wish I knew. <laughs> I think I paid, I know I paid more than I wanted to for this. And I believe it sold for 35, I don't know. Um, if it had been my size, I would have kept it because y'all don't already know, I love me some Hello Kitty. So um, these uh, little um, garment bags is generally what they are. Um, I got at a yard sale, I got three or four boxes for 10 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. Um, and I thought I was gonna be going through them a lot slower because I, I, I used to tie things with a ribbon and yeah, that wasn't really working. <laughs> I just got paranoid um, <clears throat> that things were, were you know, when, once you get a wet item <laughs> you're, it, as, a, as a buyer and you're just like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> you just start to get panicky that uh, your items are gonna end up wet. Um, so I'm putting this in a regional box A, 
It's slightly smaller uh, than the mailing boxes or the medium. Oh, I didn't put my little, didn't put my little doodops in there. Um, so we have to put the thank you. Uh, this is going to Nadalyn. So always make sure that you are spelling the customer's name right. Enjoy at Posh Salad. Okay, so that's there. Um, we are going to, this was kind of a pricey sale, so um, we'll put a bookmark with this. Um, we'll put one of these cutesy ones, little bunnies on croissants. So we've got that and that, and then we're going to get our um, little laundry notice. Um, this is how they really look. That other one, I just printed them on the wrong printer and uh, <laughs> it had a uh, uh, default font. But they still work, they still say the message. So I go ahead and use them anyway. Okay, so everything's on the package. I know there's like some things, um, some claims about whether, you know, you should launder the items or just steam them. I feel like one, um, laundering the items is better for me in the long run because I don't have to, um, worry about when I store them if you know they're not clean and they might make uh the thing smell because I've done I've steamed them and uh you know folded them back up and the thrift store smell has come back um also uh that I think that's like part of my brand um that I want people to feel like they've shopped at a store with me and how annoying is it to buy something and, and to have to, um, you can go outside, boo-boo. Go on, go outside, get on your bench. Just looking at me like, why would I wanna go outside? I'm standing by my doggy door. No, I don't know why you would understand that I think I would wanna go outside. That's crazy talk, whatever dog. Okay, uh, this is an REI um, jacket, a windbreaker, zip front. I've had it for quite a bit, long enough that I don't remember where or how much I paid for it uh, without looking at my spreadsheet. Um, <clears throat> and I took a best offer. Uh, I think I got $20 for this. Um, I had it listed on Grailed and on Poshmark and it sold on Poshmark. I don't think I had it listed on eBay. So we're just gonna fold this so it looks nice. We're gonna, there we go, tuck that in. Uh, this is what the shirt bags look like or the garment things look like. And normally I used to just use um, bread bags and that's what I used for the Lululemon. Um, you can get them at Walmart uh, for like, I think it's like three something for a box of 100. Um, that's what I used to use when, um, before I had these little garment things. And we're just going to tape that. We are going to add our little note here. Uh, since this was an offer. Oh, you know what? Uh, funny thing, the, um, Hello Kitty, uh, she put it in a bundle and then like eight minutes later, she bought it. So I didn't even get a chance to send her a deal. So this is going to Connor. And I don't normally write the person's name on it, but uh, today, why not? Normally I just write enjoy and posh salad and we're not gonna give him a bookmark. 
Most of my bookmark bookmarks are super cutesy, so I don't think old Connor would be impressed uh, with a bunny on a croissant bookmark. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put this in a Tyvek. Um, I've tried to stop using them quite so much, uh, not for any particular reason, I just, uh, um, just mostly because uh, Tyvek, I don't know how it breaks down to be honest, but um, these little ends I've seen come un undone more than once. Um, so I'll show you what I do. I used to tape them and then I'm like, why is the post office getting on my tape? Um, so now, since it's priority, I use the post office's <laughs> own little priority stickers. And, oh, I did not show you that. That's that not fair, Hillary. So um, on the corner here, I just take the little priority sticker and put it here and here. <laughs> So that hopefully will keep it from coming apart. Sometimes I'll put it here as well, um, depending on how bulky the item that I'm putting inside it is. And now we're gonna put our label on there. And uh, I, have a, I have a different sticker for Connor. I have these, which I have uh, deemed more boyish, so in the whole gender identity thing, I, I don't know. I just have a moment. And we're gonna put that in and up. And we're gonna use some more uh, stickers on the end here, just to make sure that that does not come apart. Oops. So that is package number four. Now, uh, item number five is kind of special. If you follow me on Instagram, at posh underscore salad, um, you will have already seen this story. Um, but what happened uh, is I sold a tie. I sold a Briani tie for $60 and um, the customer wanted to return it. And even though I had set that item up to not accept returns, um, I just decided, hey, what the heck, let's go ahead and return it. And it took some do you know not some doing it was easy but um because i had hadn't set it up for returns i couldn't you know generate a return label for him um so i had to keep like putting him off i'm like can you let me contact ebay and find out how i do this and uh he was oh okay in the end he just sent me the tie without uh me confirming that yeah i'm ready to take it or whatever <laughs> And uh, the tie came back, and then even then, I'm, I was like the worst customer service on this person. Um, I uh, <laughs> put it in my bag, because I you know, have a post office box, so I put it in my bag, and then I, you know, other stuff got thrown on top of it, and I forgot. And so like three or four days went by, and I, was, I had to write him, and I'm like, I am so sorry, I just opened your package, because I threw it in my bag, and I completely forgot about it. And we'll, and this was like on a Tuesday and I had just gotten my payout from um, eBay and I wanted the money when I returned it to come from uh, my balance and not from my bank or my card. So I said, can I please um, refund you on Sunday? And he said, sure, no problem. And so I refunded him on Sunday at like 11.58 because <laughs> again, I'm sorry, I forgot again. Mm. And a couple of days later, I go to um, the post office and there's a package for me. And I'm just like, you know, I, I, what did I order? I didn't order anything. And I'm like, did I sleep order something from AliExpress again? And I'm like, no, because it came to my address. So probably not. <laughs> um, and so I opened it 
uh, cause I was like, I'm, I'm really dying to know what this is. <laughs> so I opened it while I was still in the car and uh, out came a note and it says, Hillary, with my name spelled correctly, I returned a Briani tie and you were kind with the refund. Thank you. I'm sending you this tie, which you might want to sell. I don't want anything from it other than it going to someone that will enjoy it. Hopefully you can make some money. Thanks again. And he sent me this beautiful, here's the front, Prada tie. How nice is that guy? So I am writing Steve. I wrote a little thank you card to Steve. And I'm so glad I got to finally use these uh, Star Wars. Um, there, so it says, uh, it has a Daddy, Daddy Vader here going, what do you say? And then Luke and Leia, thank you. Um, I wish I had a little gift to put in here. But I don't know. Do you like a kitty sticker? I don't think so. Anyway, uh, we are just going to close that. I guess, well, I don't know. I haven't been uh, licking envelopes lately. I've just been doing the whole pandemic thing. We are just going to tape this closed. I don't know, I feel weird looking at an envelope now. This is probably the first envelope, envelope, envelope that I've had to send. Uh, that wasn't like self-sealing or something. So, yeah. Strange after two years, the things that seem odd to you. So, we have that. That's all good to go. And we have our new Prada tie that we are going to list. Uh, I've been listing ties more often. Um, and uh, they've been selling, you know, not as well as they did two years ago, but you know, they've been selling. Um, oh, and I said I was gonna be talking to you about what I'm doing um, since sales have been so slow. I am pretending that this is my uh, prep time. So, so what I mean by that is, um, I have uh, done inventory in my storage unit and made sure, you know, I reorganized the bins and um, put, uh, you know, I updated my spreadsheet because, oh, let me just show you. When I'm in my storage unit, I just like take a, I just make a list like this and this says bin number Q and it just has everything that's in bin Q. And then um, I come and I take and I put this into my spreadsheet because sometimes, um, Especially uh, since I only do this twice a year, um, things can get moved around. So it's like, oh, I think I'm putting it in bin, you know, F, but I'm actually putting it in bin E um, and uh, uh, just things like that. So, I, so I've so i been keeping better records of that. Um, I've also been um, listing and delisting everything on uh, using Vendu. Um, to uh, go through all of my listings and uh, update them and relist them and change them, lower the price, raise the price, change the shipping. Um, and I found a couple of mistakes uh, where, where I had just clicked the wrong box for shipping and shipping is like, you know, $40 now. And it should have been like, you know, $9 because I clicked the box below um, or above or whatever. And so um, that's been... A bonus. Um, sorry, I just didn't know where the dog was. He was quiet. He's in his bed. What? Um, what else? Uh, I've been organizing my storage unit. Um, I've been listing like crazy. Um, I've gotten a lot listed. I haven't done that much sourcing. I did a little. Um, I've had. I've also had some live sales, um, which. I have to decide if that's worth it for me to continue doing um, because right now I pay a fee to the live sale venue uh, because they have the traffic. I don't have the traffic um, on my Instagram, on my Facebook page. I just don't have the traffic. So um, I, I have been doing it on Thrifting Atlanta and Thrifting Divas and 
uh, it's like a $55 charge. And then I'm also paying $9.99 a month to Loyal Shops. Um, so uh, that's $65, um, you know, for, for each um, sale, each live sale. And I don't know that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm making a profit, but not that much. So um, I might just uh, stop doing those and uh, wait until uh, I feel better about it and then maybe just do them on my Instagram because that's free. Um, more money for me. I have, I do have a live sale coming up on Thrifting Divas Facebook page on, I believe it's April 22nd. I'll put a link down below. Um, so I've been prepping for those and I have our, where one of the warehouses that I used to get stuff at, it closed. And so I've been looking for another warehouse, um, that sells similar stuff. Um, uh, it was funny. We, I, I drove down there to go do a little shopping and, and it was a movie studio. <laughs> And there's all these people milling about and I'm like, well, can I still go in there and get some Christmas ornaments and some hunter boots or something? And they were looking at me like I was crazy. Um, I'm also using this time to um, work out my processes because I feel like I'm just striving too hard and I don't want to be part of that hustle mentality where it's like, oh, if you don't have the things that you want, you don't have your goals, you need to work harder. I don't believe that to be the case because there are other things in your life that are more important um, and that are more important than money. At least I hope, I hope there are. And so my friends and my family and my, my own well-being and self-care, those are more important to me. And I don't like this person that I've become where it's like, I can wake up, at, if I wake up at four o'clock in the morning, this is, this is wake, if, if I wake up, most, most times I'm still awake because I do most of my listing uh, from 10 on because that's when it's quiet. Um, but if I wake up at four o'clock in the morning because, you know, there was a loud noise outside, I pick up my phone, I share some items, I check my sales, I answer questions. And that's not good. That's not healthy. I should just be like, huh, a noise and roll back over and go back to bed. Yeah, those are the things that I've been doing because I am of the mind that um, my sales are going to pick up. I am also uh, going to open up a new eBay store. Um with uh, a second account um one because when this one is slow i still want another one to go but i also want this uh, account to be um available to me when i'm on the road so i don't want to have to delist stuff off of my main at, at ebay store i want to be able to um, just shut it down for vacation and then i can use the second one um there's been some issue i have to call ebay because uh they're letting me post stuff, but then, you know, uh, when I go to look at it, it says, call eBay to get this account activated. And when I call eBay to get the account activated, they're like, oh, uh, we don't know what that means. <laughs> but it's on your website. So, um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And I feel like, you know, sales are going to pick up any day now. Um, that is what I'm doing um, in this slow period and I'm trying not to let the slowness of sales get to me even though I just bought a car and, and I need to make a car payment in a week and, and I'm scared to death that I'm not going to have the money or it's going to have to come out of savings and I don't want it to come out of savings. I've been working so hard on my savings that I, um, so uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and I will try to answer them. And again, thank you so much for watching this really long rambly video. And until the next time, peace, love, and shopping, y'all. Bye.